Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. And things are a little bit different this week. Uh, I'll go ahead and just do the normal plugs. Um, my name is Jim Leader Matt, and I do Pokemon Solo Run content often. And if that's of interest to any of you out there, help me out, subscribe. And if you're somebody who doesn't interact or no doesn't normally comment, just scroll down and type in Mime Time. And let's go ahead and start talking about this video. Um, in the background, I just, I'm simulating a live video. We're doing a full live commentary today. Um, so what we're doing, normally I play at times two speed. We're going to be playing at times three speed. We're doing Mr. Mime. And before we really get into the video, you can see it's just kind of stuck here on the opening screen. Mr. Mime looks okay. Starts off with confusion. Has 90 base speed, 100 base special. So it looks like it could be pretty good. It's, it's a request. And I figured that this would be better to do a live run on something I think could be pretty good. It's not going to be the, the best run in the world, but I do think it'll be pretty solid. So this for me, maybe one day I want to stream and I really want to test out the live aspect here. So I just have music playing in the background and all that kind of stuff, but I don't want to go on too long right now. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and just keep in mind that normally the way I've been doing these videos is I play on my own time and I'll just be watching stuff in the background and all that kind of stuff and I'll get a full run of the game done and then I'll put it into my editor I'll cut down all the relative uh, relevant parts and then I'll make a script and then I'll go through and I'll record it and we'll edit that down and all that kind of stuff that's how I normally do it so keep in mind as you're watching this this is completely live and there's not going to be much editing done so if i make a mistake saying a word here or there or if there's some pauses or whatever let's not make it too awkward and let's just kind of dive in i think let's uh let's do that okay so we'll go over at the beginning of how every run works you can see it already says continue we'll get to that but at the start of every game uh you're going to want to turn battle animations off fast text battle style set and then you're going to want to start your new game. Alright, so... I know this isn't going to be interesting to some people, but I know some of you might be interested in the full rundown of how everything goes in a run. So, playing blue version, it bothers me because you got to name your rival red. I don't want, I don't feel like, I don't like taking the time to name my rival most of the time. Uh, and keep in mind the end game time doesn't start until we get tiny and go into our room like right here. Okay. First thing you do, withdraw that potion. I don't even know if Mr. Mime will need it, but it's just good to have. There's a, several little potions littered around. And we're just going to try to zoom through this run as fast as we can. We are sitting at about about three times speed. Normally I play at two times. I think I've already mentioned that, but I'm going to be bumping into walls. It's going to be whatever. Okay, so we got our Mr. Mime here. We're going to take him. And for today's video... We're going to be naming him Pennywise. Now, I don't even think Pennywise... Actually, I do think it'll fit. I initially thought it wouldn't fit. Okay. Yeah, it fits perfect. Great. That's just perfect. Okay, so normally what you would do here is you would save it. And then you would either reset for your DVs or whatever. But what I've been doing pretty much since the spill video... And we'll go ahead and we'll pull this up real quick. Uh, let's get a quick transition over here. Boom. Um, so this is what I use right now. It's called PK Hex. And as you can see here, this is our Mr. Mom. The name's a little different. I named it in here because I already I wanted to have this set up for the for the ease of transition, so I don't have to waste a lot of time. But you can set your DVs. I just set them to perfect to give every Pokemon their best chance. And then when you're done editing it, uh, it'll have its whatever, its little perfect stats. And you can save your file, and then when you go back in, it'll have the perfect stats. So let's get rid of that. There we go. And then you would reset. You'd put your file back in there and you'd reset. And then your Mr. Mom will have the stats required. That's just kind of how I've been doing it for a little bit, if you've been wondering. So, let's just continue on here. Mr. Mime starts off with Confusion. Really good move. He doesn't have much other than that. He's got Barrier, which is a sharp increase to defense, and it'd be a badge-boosting move. Um, not too bad. Not great at the start. I mean, you don't really need to increase your defense, but we got it. 
and that's it now let's do what i consider there's a few parts of the game like some people ask me what do you not like about solo runs which what's your most hated part of the run i and i accidentally killed that rattata this part of being live and normally i don't you don't fight any pokemon on this route i just wasted time oh god i'm not optimized what will we ever do guys but the worst part to me uh, there's a couple of parts we'll talk about them as we get there if i remember but getting oak's parcel look at this guy he always moves over in front of the door and stops your perfect pathing but yeah getting oak's parcel not a fan of it it just takes a lot of time but it's way better uh, i'm sure a lot of you guys have played newer games and stuff like that i would say starting about gen 4 the um first parts of the game have just gotten there's such a slog to get through what i appreciate about gen 1 the most is how you just go in get your pokemon do a tutorial battle do this little parcel master all the stuff and then you're out go into the world everything's on your own the story's minimal and that's the way i like it i like how it just gets into the game real quick so hopefully you can talk to this guy too and get a potion i don't know if i've ever mentioned that in any video i do it a lot and i just wasted a lot of time going into the grass there so here we go live commentary i really would like you guys to let me know what you think mainly i'm doing this because you know as we grow some videos do better than others but overall i feel like as the channel grows maybe some runs that i wouldn't want to normally do it would be a lot easier to do them if i could just stream and if i could stream to a bunch of you guys and then we just have to put the video of the stream up on the channel i think that it would ease the the pain of some bad runs so people can just see me do it live i guess so I am going to battle the bug catchers here. I don't know if I need to. Confusion is enough. But I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have enough PP to make it through Brock and everything like that anyway. So I might as well get some use out of it. And this will just make it more consistent without having to reset like a ton on Brock. I don't think, even at level 8, I think we should be fine to do it. But these are just confusion. Mr. Mime has very respectable special crit's pretty nice um at 90 base speed i think it's what like a 17.6 ish base speed or base crit rate i should say and we're gonna see a lot of crits here and there so it's gonna help out a lot and he's gonna outspeed pretty much anything uh, my general rule of thumb is that if a pokemon has at least like 60 base speed with uh stat experience and levels you're eventually going to outspeed everything anyway it's when you get into that like 20 25 30 35 range is when you have speed problems so we're now level nine uh very painless very quick i don't know how the times three speed is going to affect my overall in-game time but this is a good experiment overall this video is just an experiment i'm going to be sitting here talking for hopefully only like an hour hopefully it doesn't take much longer than an hour so here we are 11 minutes at the rock solid pokemon trainer and that's not too bad I'm not going to be able to judge how different this would be. So you would think that, hey, I got a uh, barrier. Maybe I should set it up. I'm not going to do it. Overall, it would just be a lot quicker if we just go straight confusion. And there we go. Just like that. We're level 10. Boulder badge is ours. And I don't know how much... I want to be quick on all this stuff. I want to still give Mr. Mom his best. We got 10 power points left of confusion, so we might as well heal. Uh, number one thing I always do at the Pokemart here, go ahead and sell that useless TM. Uh, I, I usually buy six Pokeballs, buy a couple of antidotes, I've already got one, and then buy three paralyzed heals just in case some stuff happens on your journey. I buy a few extra potions as well, I don't know if I need them, but it's better safe than sorry. Because having to go back to a Poke Center when you don't want to can really hinder a run. So from here, I don't think I've mentioned it, but you notice that Mr. Mime's not leveling up slow. So we're in the medium fast leveling group. It's not the fastest. My favorite is medium slow. I think it's the best. It's the quickest group to get to level 25. But medium fast is faster after level 25. So it's still not bad. You can still see we're leveling up at a decent rate. And as long as we're at least like, I don't know, level 16, 17, 18 at the best case scenario when we make it to rival number two, 
we should be fine. It feels kind of weird because normally I haven't done a live commentary video in almost two years, guys. So this is kind of, uh, feels a little weird. I know I'm going to mess up and my instinct is going to say cut that so that I would know to cut it in post. And I know that I'm not going to be able to do that. So if you hear anything strange, maybe I'll catch myself and I'll say something about it. But we're really not talking about the game right now. Bug catchers, guys. What do you do? You can't live with them. Can't live without them. They're, they exist just to be blasted. And when you have a high special and a special attack to start the game, there's not really anything that threatens you in this early game. It's all fairly easy. I can only hope that we can make it through Rock Tunnel. Not Rock Tunnel. Uh, Mount Moon without 18,000 Zubat encounters. That always kind of annoys me. So here's where I make a save uh on my personal journey and we need to catch a pidgey or a spiro level seven's not great because if we attack it it's just gonna die i'll usually give it two pokeballs and then i'm gonna hard reset so you're gonna get to see all the tricks of the trade how i do everything here so if you've ever wondered how this or that happens you can reference this video and be like oh okay that's what he does in these runs that was a little bit slow, but hopefully a level 6 Pidgey can be caught. Nope. I'll give it two balls. And then we'll reset. And this is annoying, because sometimes, guys, this happens. And this isn't even the worst part, because Paris is a pain to find. Because I like to use Dig, you get all those time skips, and it can learn Cut. So, I love catching Paris's. And sometimes it just doesn't want to be found. Jesus Christ. This is what happens sometimes, guys. Like, this, the start of the game right here, there's nothing you can do. You're at the mercy of the RNG. And if I had any status moves or anything like that, it might be better. And keep in mind, too, if I was to... Let's say if I reload. Okay, level 5. If I reload and I take the same exact steps as I did before... I would encounter the same Pokemon. So this is good. I should have remembered this, but I did so many wonky steps that I'll never remember this. Jesus. I need at least four Pokeballs for Paris because encountering a Paris is so rare that you don't want to have to retry. Level eight Pidgey? Come on. I'm never going to be able to catch a level eight Pidgey. Jesus. Oh my God. Okay. This is live, guys. This is what happens. We're trying to catch us a, our designated flyer for the run, and this is what happens. We can't catch it. Yes, okay, Pidgey's caught. Good, we can move on. Now, you hope that Paris happens while you're in transition through here, because if you make it to the end of Mount Moon, and then you have to um, search for Paris afterwards, it could take a long time. Now, each floor you go down and up, you eventually get down to Mount Moon level 3. That has the highest rate to encounter a Paris, where this floor, the first floor, only has... Uh, I don't even know what the percent is, but it has the lowest. So you might see one here. All you can do is just kind of be prepared. So we get our rare candy and our escape rope. Almost made it right there. And we do want to get Mega Punch uh, for this run, because we don't have any other moves. Uh, my favorite, Geodude. Dude. Geodude. Alright, TM1. Go ahead and learn that real quick. Give us a little bit of coverage, a little bit of extra PP to keep going a little bit longer because with only confusion, you can't last out there forever. And, you know, he's no Mewtwo. We're not playing with Mewtwo right now, but hopefully we're, we have a little solid run on our hands. I don't keep track of all my times. I know roughly about where some Pokemon are at times, especially in videos like the Slowpoke and Clefairy one, where I tediously kept track of all my times. I usually don't I usually don't look too deep into it. Paris, and I didn't save it. I haven't saved it in a while. Okay. Grass and bug. Well Mega Punch. Oof. Could he survive another one? I feel like I'll crit. We got five Pokeballs. Okay, first one. That is absolutely perfect, guys. Okay. 
24 minutes in the game right now. We have our Paris. We have our Flyer. We don't have to catch any more Pokemon. Sometimes I like to battle this Grunt because he has a, just Eradicate and it gives a lot of experience in comparison to the other stuff. Hey, a, a kind of a rare Clefairy. Maybe this run will be blessed, guys. Okay. Please. This is the last time we don't have access to repels. So this is one of the worst parts of the game for me. Uh, speaking of earlier, getting Oak's Parcel and going through Mount Moon. Hey, another Paris encounter. Too bad we don't need him anymore. I like to just save it here. I save a lot. Um, I know if you've ever watched J-Rose play, he says that he likes, you know, big stretches where nothing... He's just playing the game continuously without saving. I am not of that same mindset. I save often because you honestly... You never know what's going to happen. Is Set not on right now? Oh my god. Hang on. It's a disaster. Oh my god. My Were battle animations on this whole time? Oh my god. Well, it's live, guys. Mistakes will be made. This battle will be easy. He has two poison types. And the very pathetically weak Voltorb. We just crit it. Go ahead and get out of there. Uh, so this is a very easy battle. Get him out of there. We're only level 15 though. Am I going to regret not leveling up more? Battling some extra trainers? Because level 15 is not great. Oh my god, let me through. There's so many Geodudes. So many Zubats. We're trying to remain positive here. I think I got chipped down. Let me check. I'm going to go ahead and get the rare candy real quick. That's going to be my first order of business. Uh, right there. There we go. That's rare candy number two. We've been chipped down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use a singular potion. Drop a save. We're at 30 minutes. That's not too bad. Let's see how quick we can get through this part. Hopefully, with 90 base speed. What is the Pidgeot? A level 7? 18. Ooh, that's not a lot of damage. Okay, we didn't get sand attacked. So that's a kind of a positive. Okay, okay. Let's be smart. I am going to use barrier three times. Because I just, I can. Because uh, Abra can't hurt you. We only have one more use of... Okay, Squirtle. We only have one more use of Confusion. And it hurt itself. We got the Confusion proc and it hurt itself, so that's good. And we have the badge boost for attack, so our Mega Punch does better. That's pretty good. We didn't get the most out of our PP right there, but we have to heal right here anyway. Uh, this is a very important heal. Probably the most important heal of the game because you've seen in some runs, if you watch my videos, you know that if you don't anchor yourself there, you have to walk manually back from Bill's house. But we'll get into all that later. Nugget Bridge. Gonna be a bunch of... Bunch of shenanigans going on here. I don't think... We don't have the greatest attack. So we're very reliant on confusion right now. But I do need to weave in some of these mega punches. I can't just confusion my problems away. Not now, anyway. So we crit. That's not bad. I, yeah, I need to just get rid of some Mega Punch. It's so tempting just to go ahead and use it against this Nidoran because uh, it's weak to... Ew, maybe I should have. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and drop a Confusion. And you'll see how, like, you know, I waste turns here and there. But at the end of the day, these runs that I do, they're only compared against what I do. So I make these kind of little bitty mistakes every single run. So, I'm not too worried about it. So, we're level 18. There's so many psych or poison types at the start of the game. We're getting a little low, but that's why we bought some extra potions. That's why we get the one out of our PC and get all those little extra potions throughout the game. So I'm going to go ahead and heal back up to full. And we're going to go ahead and just keep trucking on. I don't like the first part of the game a lot of the times, to tell you the truth. Get an Oaks Parcel. We've already talked about that. Mount Moon is a nightmare sometimes. Especially if you can't find a Paris. And... I wasted another turn right there. 
And then Nugget Bridge, to me, there's just so many trainers that they force you to fight. It's absurd. This is the one with the Mankey, right? Yep. Him's mad. Little Mankey. Weak to confusion. So there's just so many fights in this early game where everything, just fucking everything is, well, I cussed. I'm going to be cussing sometimes, but I think technically if you don't cuss till after three minutes in your video, it's fine. But for any of my younger viewers, don't be alarmed when the cursing pops out a little bit. Okay, done with Nugget Bridge. We got a Nugget. This is the guy with the Onyx. It shouldn't be a hassle for Mr. Mime. And then there are two more battles left to do. Maybe I should pick up Seismic Toss. Perfect, critical hit, he's done. Maybe I should pick up Seismic Toss here. But I don't think Mr. Mime's gonna need it. You can see the moves on the side. I didn't even write it down on the the notable TM list that I've been doing. So I don't know if I'll need it. Maybe I will. Uh, we'll fight this guy. It's always a hassle. You got the guy with the multiple Geo dudes or this guy. Go ahead and use some Mega Punches. Oh, I missed. Of course I did. Level 20, not bad. I probably should, oh my god, rap. That's a rap, folks. Okay. One more trainer left. Thankfully, very weak to confusion. Sometimes if I feel like I need it, I will get the, uh, the elixir that's located on the optional hiker at the start of the route. I don't feel like I really need it today because I feel like we don't have enough PP anyway. I don't even know if we'll have enough for Misty, but there is an Aether here. That's okay. Bill, tap, 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 yes. Goes in there. Ah, so we're progressing. Things are going good. We are about 22 minutes into the run. Okay, right here where you use your escape rope. This is why it's so critical to heal in Cerulean because the escape rope in Bill's house will take you right back here. Let me do a quick check real quick. We have four mega punches left. I'm going to use a potion. I'm going to save it here. And we have to fight the one trainer with the goldine in here. And let's see if we can maybe get past Misty with four Mega Punches. Because remember, Confusion is going to be resisted. But I am not going to resist Bubble Beam. It's going to hurt. If it crits, it's going to hurt even worse. So we're going to go all in right here. I'm just going to save it. Maybe potentially waste some time if we fail. But if we can get past this, we're sitting pretty good. I'm not worried about this uh, star you. Just to make things a little better, I'm gonna set up some barriers. And star you is not psychic top, so it doesn't resist our confusions. But this is where we'll need mega punch. With three badge boosts, it should be okay. It's not okay. Oh no. All right, that's another failure. That is reset number two, if you're keeping track. Is it? I don't even remember. Was there two resets or is this the first? I really don't remember, guys. Sorry. Anyway, that's a reset on Misty. I think that's a good strategy. Yeah, because it's just using Tackle right now. Water Gun, whatever. But, man. These Mega Punches don't do anything to the Starmie. I'm going to try it one more time. Those hurt. God, Bubble Beam hurts too. Those don't even last. Oh no. Okay, so we might be in a little bit of a pickle here, guys. This might be a lot of resets. We'll see. That's the glory of... See, my problem with... Let's just say we're not talking any... We're not throwing any shade or anything here right now. But there are some channels I watch. I guess the biggest one would be Scott's Thoughts. He almost exclusively goes off of, uh, my god, I'm just gonna reset. 
I'm not beating Starmie at 16 health. But Scott's thoughts, he goes almost exclusively off of real life time. So he plays at times four speed and goes off of real life time. I don't like real life time as a huge metric because I don't, I mean, if it's for you, it's for you. I just feel personally real life time is more of a measurement of how many mistakes you made. And I'm not a perfect person. I make a ton of mistakes. So to punish myself and make a certain Pokemon look worse than another Pokemon, just because I made a little dumb mistake, my speed fell. This is not going good. We need to crit, and we missed. Oof. Oof. Using a rare candy and backtracking, it's not an option. We're going to get through this fight. It might take us some extra time, and that's going to be kind of annoying. Let's just go straight confusions here and see how that works. If we got a confusion proc on the Starmie, that'd be pretty good. It's those bubble beams. Oh, it got confused. Oh, it didn't even matter. It got confused and it still got off the bubble beam. Because of course it did. Because Generation 1 AI just knows exactly how to beat you. So we're also... As I'm playing this live, I already have my background and everything set up on the sides. Because I'm really like, like I said, I'm testing exactly how it would be if I was streaming to you guys. So everything's already set up. God, start off with the... Please let me get a confusion prop. We're going to need some luck here, guys. Critical hit mega punch? Nope, bubble beam, we're dead. Ah. Oh, the struggles. So Mr. Mom's already kind of struggling here. This is the problem with the medium fast leveling group. It's also like, since we're sitting here playing live, I just want to sit here and adjust my chair and just kind of sit back and relax and not say anything. So I got to remember that I'm recording live, actually. Hit yourself. Please. There we go. One hit. Confuse no more. Okay, what is our win condition here? Use a tackle, and the tackle only does like 4 or 5 damage? Oh, bubble beam. That was our closest attempt. Let me adjust my, my chair right fast. We are going to need the Starmie to get confused and not break out of confusion in one turn. I do like the idea of setting up barrier here. But Star U also has a high crit rate. Tackle, great. Just get confused. Can we get a confusion? Can you get confused? We might just win though. Now the point right here, do I want to rely? So a bubble beam might just straight up kill us from 19 health. High chance to crit as well. Mega punch, what is it, 85% accuracy? I'm not looking right now, I think it is. I feel like it's going to miss, but I also feel like a confusion will not kill it, not knock it out. We have to go for the mega punch here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now that took a while, but I do think it's important that you guys finally just get to see the process. Uh, when there's a tough early game battle, just to see, you know, you're playing it, you faint a couple of times, and then you have to sit there and say, okay, well, what's my win condition? What do I currently have that can solve this little puzzle that's in front of me? And that's my favorite part of solo runs, honestly. So, I like it a lot. And even though, like you can see there, it didn't matter. We thought we needed to get a confusion proc off of confusion. And it, it ended up not happening, but we got passed anyway. So, now we're confused. We didn't hurt ourselves, so... The damn miracle. So just for the ease, well, we're about to sell at a store. You can learn your dig right here. Paris with dig, very important. I don't think we can learn bubble beam. No, I had to double check myself. I did all the preliminary scouting of Mr. Mom, so I should have already known that, but it may come as a surprise to some of you guys, but I'm not a professional. I'm literally just a guy doing this for a hobby. 
Oh my god, an encounter here too. The game just wants to annoy us. Okay. We got two... A bunch of normal types here. This is where, in like the Gengar and the Ghastly run, this is where they kind of struggle. Sand attacks. I think it's smart just to use my... See, so right here, I don't need to be wasting time. We're on the clock here. Lots of sand attack potential here. What, I think this trainer has three different Pidgeys. Oh my god, we're just getting pelted. If I die to this Pidgey... Okay, good. Defeated one, we need to use some potions here. We're down to three, but that's perfectly fine because we are at our second buy spot of the game. I'm going to save it just in case we die. And he has... What does this guy have? A Spearow and Eradicate. You know you played too much Pokemon when you know exactly what tr minor trainers have. We really just want to knock down our Mega Punch uh, PP right now. Because on this section... Oh man, okay. We've learned Light Screen. Light Screen's interesting. Never had it in the run. It's like Reflect, but for special attacks. And we're probably not going to really see it in this run. Uh, go ahead and sell that bubble beam. Go ahead and sell that nugget. And this is where you buy... I think you can get by with 10 repels. I buy 11 just in case. And then we... Be on the safe side. I'm going to buy 12. Especially since we're about to use some. And don't forget to sell these little useless Pokeballs. Because we'll never catch another Pokemon again. Okay. That's pretty good health range. Go ahead and... Dump these at the top. Just real quick, inventory management. Uh, what do? What am I doing right now? I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time. The pressure's on me, guys. I feel it. Okay, SSN time. And the bad part about taking that much damage, which is not, it's not awful. It's just you can't heal down here. If you want to, if you want to have the best runs, you need to make it through. After you face Misty, you need to make it from there all the way to after Lieutenant Surge without healing. We got four Mega Punches left. I missed, of course I did. Please be a two shot. What's the point? What's the point, Mega Punch? There is no point. It's meaningless. Body Slam, you already know how I feel about Body Slam. One of the best. We need it just for some little coverage. I kind of want to... I'm going to get rid of Mega Punch. Maybe a mistake. I don't know. But I feel like I want to use Light Screen at least once. Gentlemen, Garden the Rare Candy. Of course we're going to do that. You can see that we're an hour and two in. If we want to get to those elite runs, we need to beat the game in two hours. So we got two hours. Which is... Eh, maybe not impossible. Ah, uh, if Mr. Mom had a little bit more attack, but that's fine. That's why we do the runs. We find each Pokemon's weaknesses, and we just go from there. All right, so we got rival number three quickly approaching. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's just, we can't, oh, I forgot to heal. I got to reset. Part of it, guys. Live, we're doing it live. I forgot to heal. Very important to heal. There we go, now we're full health. Some Pokemon like Mewtwo, sure. Nidal King, sure. But Mr. Mom, I don't think he's that guy. I do think he'll, it might be a pretty good run. Crit, perfect. Prove me wrong. I would love to be proven wrong. We can start being a little bit more liberal with our uh, confusion uses now that we know that we only got two more battles, including this one. We're getting close to salvation here, to where the game's going to start going really fast. This is the slowest part of the game by far. We're not even at the slowest part yet. Rub, rub, rub on the back. Uh, get ourselves cut. Go ahead and teach that to... Paris. 
and let's get out of here. I wish you could dig back. Well, no, I don't because our heal spot's back in Cerulean. Maybe I do. Maybe it'd be a good time skip. I had never calculated how slow it is to walk back, but this little cutscene right here specifically is very slow. Even on times three speed right now, it's just very, very slow. Okay. This might be another reset heavy portion. I hope not. So when I go in here, the button puzzle is set right now. You need to use your first save before you reset just to find it. So it can be 3-2-3 three, three split. So all the ones I'm checking. Hey, there's a switch. Okay, first. Wow. Wow, guys. If anybody ever ask you, live on camera, I just got the Lieutenant Sir's trash puzzle. One try. Didn't even need it. So... If there's ever a time for light screen, it's probably right here, right? And what is straight confusion? Sonic Boom kind of sucks. I probably should have healed. But it's all good. It's probably not good. I don't think this is good. No, it's not good. I knew it wasn't good. I need to be more conscious of my healing. I'm wondering about, I'm just playing like a Pokemon lo-fi music. Uh, I got like a one hour mix going on. So please let me know if it's of uh, acceptable volume. Cause I think it's pretty good. I'll kind of shut up for a second and let you guys listen. What kind of jam out? This is a Snowport City lo-fi mix. I do think we're gonna go with that light screen. I think this is the battle for it because Thunderbolt is gonna hurt. Okay, level 25. Perfect one shot. Growl. Growl is inconsequential. With a light screen set up, Thundershock does nothing. And there we go. Just like that. TM34, Thunderbolt, very important for Mr. Mom. Uh, very big coverage move. One of the best in the game. I'm gonna keep barrier. I guess we don't have a fucking. We don't have a choice. Light screen. We've used light screen one time, and now we're done with it. Okay. Now for the next time skip in the run. Time to get our bike voucher. On this part, I spam A, and then after I say yes right there, I spam B. Okay, and then from here you can use Paris to dig back out and if you have not healed since Cerulean You'll go right back to Cerulean and those are the two Ginormous time skips in the game. That's why it's so important To save oh my god. I have not thought about the bike on times three speed This is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? I need to I'm trying to manipulate my inventory so I can get the bike at the top. That's what I'm doing here. Oh man, this is... Oh, this is fast. We're zooming. We're bumping into walls. If you see me look like I'm drunk and I can barely move, it's because I'm playing on such a high speed that I'm not used to. So that we can try to get this video down. We're already at 40 minutes in, so Jesus Christ, guys. If anybody sits through this entire video when I'm done with it, props to you big huge props anybody who watches my videos if you've ever sat down and watched a single one of my videos and you said hey I like this guy and you gave it a like and you commented whatever stupid shit I said to say great fantastic I love you but this is my I think Mount Moon might be the worst part of the game but I do think that rock tunnel has to be a close second rock tunnel is not great but fortunately I've done Rock Tunnel so many times and with our current move set I do think it'll be easy and we have repels so it's not as bad. I think Mount Moon is the worst because you don't have access to repels. Oh my god, I accidentally go into that little tiny patch of grass and I get an encounter? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, very important. You gotta save before you use the repel because in generation one, if you use a repel and then you reload, you have to reuse that repel. It doesn't carry over. Okay, let's get through this real quick. Maniac with the Q bone and a slowpoke. 
don't do quite enough damage, but he loves to use Growl. It doesn't matter because we're a special attacker. One Thunderbolt, he is down. I don't think we'll have to save here because we are very well equipped. And you might be going through this and like, I'm going to go through this section very smooth. Like, I don't know why. I know, I know uh, Rock Tunnel too well, if we're being honest here. Like, it's almost worrying how well I know the layout of Rock Tunnel in the dark. They are weak to Psychic. And we're leveling up pretty good here. With medium fast leveling group, we've, we've hit over that level 25 hump. So we should start going at a pretty decent speed. Our first repel has just worn off. So this is where you want to save it. Because, like I said, if you faint, you're going to waste a repel. I don't want to waste any. Okay, you want to go down to here. There's a bunch of trainers to avoid. This is the... Okay, our repel just wore off. I'm gonna go up a couple more steps and save it. An encounter against a Zubat. Thanks, Zubat. Okay, hiker with the double Geodude Graveler. I call this the Suicide Hiker. I don't call it that. I've never called it that in any videos. I literally just made that up on the spot to sound cool. But comment down below if you think Suicide Hiker sounds cool. I don't think that's a very fam family friendly. Oh, it did a lot of damage. Not a very fam family friendly name, so I probably never say that again. I think I went over too far right here. There's a trainer over there. I need to use a repel and go back one step. And we're at the end, pretty much. I just avoided two trainers. Rock tunnels are very quick. If you know the layout of Rock Tunnel, it's not bad at all. You only gotta fight, what, one, two, three, four, five trainers? That's not too bad. So far, I think Mr. Mime is pretty good. We really haven't even gotten to the full potential yet. And we're about to get there. Cruising. In this part, you have your choice. I'll, I usually battle this, uh, what is he, a gambler? I've never seen a gambler wear whatever weird medieval William Shakespeare outfit that he's wearing. But fighting these two fire types is much easier than fighting the, what is it, double Clefairy trainer that lasts right there. She'll put you to sleep and it's just very annoying. I'm surprised at how well I'm handling this bike on times three speed though. Kind of a god right now. All right, progressing. There's a nugget and an elixir to get right here. There's the elixir, I usually go about that many steps and then nugget, oh my god, wow. What a peak gamer move right there. Knowing exactly where all the hidden items are. You do need to save here. Not save, heal, might as well. A couple of little errands to do. This is usually something that's cut out of the video. I don't think we're gonna be using ice beam or anything like that. So we just, we simply just need to go to the roof and grab a fresh water. That's all we need to do. We don't need to do anything different. No sodi pops, nothing like that. Actually, where am I? Okay, here we go. Do we have another nugget? Yep. What else do we got? Nothing else to sell. Twenty-one thousand. I'm just gonna buy two calciums. I normally don't. In runs, we're trying to do how fast. Usually, this is the only time you're ever going to visit this place, so I'm going to go ahead and buy two Calciums just to give us that little extra kick of special, and maybe it'll help us out a little bit as the run goes on. So now we are done with that. Go ahead and... Oh my god, okay. Okay, make our way over here to get Fly. I think this part right here, it's quicker just to walk through the door. This is the quickest dialogue ever. Boom, I've already got it. Every other NPC wants to talk, like, you get the back voucher, he's like, Oh yes, my Rapidash, it's so perfect, blah, 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 blah. He talks for like 10 minutes. But that person's like, oh cool, here's Fly, and that's it. Alright, now that you got Fly, you can just use Fly to fly back. And that's pretty much the errands done, last thing I want to, actually it's not the last thing I want to do. I think I put myself in a hole, I think I've wasted too much time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the rocket hideout. 
I probably should have went ahead and gotten Psychic. But we still have some uses of Confusion. It's still not a useless move just yet. Eh, might as well use Thunderbolt because there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to resist it. Especially when you're talking about Giovanni. So we want to kind of be a little bit liberal on our uses of Confusion. Because we're going to re replace it directly with Psychic soon. And we'll have, we have two PP ups and we're about to have a third after we beat, well not, not soon soon, but you know, kind of soon. Alright, next rare candy. And there are some other good stuff you can get in here, uh, but I'm not going to do it. I think in the Pikachu run I got a bunch of extra, mainly I got a bunch of extra like HP ups. Honestly, I probably should just do that. You know what, we'll do it. Cause it's just, it's literally right there. Like how much time did that take? 0.2 seconds? It really didn't take that long at all. But I am gonna wait to use it. Team Rocket. It's a Psychic Top's wet dream. Everything they have is weak against Psychic. So perfect. Oh no, I dropped the lift key. Hope nobody picks it up. All right, got the lift key. Shortcut, back up. And on this floor, there is a nugget right there. We just seen it. I'm not going to get it. I don't plan on... We don't need money anymore. I'm not going to go back and buy stuff. It's a very weird feeling when you know a game as well as I know this game. Because I'm just... I know exactly where to go. It's, I mean, it's a kid's game. It's not like I'm some brainiac. Like Bill Gates is about to call me up and offer me a job. But I just... I know the game well that's all i'm trying to say all right a bunch of ground tops here very bad i think i cut this out of the pikachu run but uh i think i did fail on some of these because they have there's so many ground tops just concentrated right here i would say i don't i was about to say i don't know why i have body slam but i do have some uh a trick up my sleeve for later mr mom if you've looked on the side here you notice that he, he learns like some interesting moves like meditate and substitute a move we'll never get to see again probably but i just don't know where i could fit it in at it's a cool move but i just don't know where we could fit it in i know some of you comment and you know somebody will say oh this pokemon's good at substitute i'm never gonna what do you get that from the game corner we're not playing game corner i would love to manipulate the slots and get hyper beam but who has that much time there's Onyx. Bye, Onyx. We're feeling pretty powerful right now, if I'm being completely honest with you. Double slap. It's going to be a double no for me. Kangaskhan. I want you guys to let me know about a Kangaskhan run. I think it would be good. I don't even why I need you guys to let me know. I could just do it. I mean, it's my channel, but whatever. I almost forgot the Sylph Scope, guys. If I would have been talking to you guys and I would have forgot the Sylph Scope, you, you would have been in trouble. Okay, so now I'm in a little bit of a conundrum here. What do I want to do? I shouldn't have healed. I am dumb. I'm wasting time. I'm trying to buy myself time. If I were to buy myself time, I should click off the game so the time's not running. And I should just t sit here and take a second to talk with you guys about my thought processes. Uh, we're going to Erica, I guess. Now this is probably the best trainer to go, although I do think we'll give it one shot. I shouldn't have saved it, honestly. I should just, whatever happened, let it lay on the table. Execute. I do have body slam. Barrage, oh no. Oh my god, it hit all five times and only did ten damage. Good job. Oh my god, execute just did six damage to us. That was a bad run, guys. If you watch the Cubon video, you, you see the potential that a Pokemon can have if it gets its egg moves. And I do think Execute could be a pretty good Pokemon, but that's neither here nor there. Victory Bell. How bad is this Razor Leaf going to hurt? Rap? Don't rap. We do outspeed, though. Okay, so we just need to... 
We got 23 confusions left. Constrict. God, Tangle is so bad. Tangle is just the worst Pokemon. Boom. I wasn't even worried at all. Erica, easy. I'm trying to see how much I can how much use I can get out of uh confusion before I have to get psychic. And since we're done with that, I can just straight up fly to Lavender Town. I'm not gonna heal. It might be a mistake, but I just think rival number four is that easy. So we're gonna go straight to it. Oh, we're coming up on 50 minutes. 50 minutes now, guys. This is longer than most videos. I think if we got up to another 10, we're definitely gonna get up to another 10 minutes. Cause that's where the ditto run was at. Uh, Thunderbolt, that's the cheat code. Uh, I don't think I've talked about it. Let's just go through it real quick. I picked Squirtle for the, um, the starter. Because we're going to have Thunderbolt anyway. I accidentally used Confusion there. Am I going to die to rival number 4 because I'm not paying attention? Bloody hell. I just died to a barrage. Oh my god. Did I save it? I had to have saved it. I'm not an idiot. Of course I saved it. Why would I not save it? Okay. I did. I'm still not going to heal. Anyway, I picked Squirtle for the rival starter. And that's just because uh, being a Psychic type with Psychic, it's just going to blast, utterly dominate Venusaur. So that's out of the question. Uh, both Blastoise and uh, Charizard would be weak to Thunderbolt. But if I picked Charizard, he would have Gyarados on the team. And Gyarados is like the poster boy for, hey, kill me with Thunderbolt. So the best choice and the tankiest Pokemon is Blastoise. And that's usually my default choice. Uh, when I don't know what to pick, so that's why we're looking at that. Now it's Kadabra. I just don't think a body slam. I'm gonna have to heal right here, aren't I? Maybe not. No, okay. This is why rival number four is rival number four. Easy. We do have confusion for. This is where we need to save it again. We have confusion for the ghastlies. There's only a couple that we have to fight, but this you gotta use some repels. That's why I saved it before. I'm going to see if I can do a new route here. Let's take her out. This is the uh, the patented double Gastly's that gave Eevee so much trouble. Confusion should shred, yeah. Confusion should shred these people. Yes, 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 yes. This is not... Okay, Elixir. And there's an HP up here. I'm going to get both of them. It's a new strategy I've been trying out. Repel's effects have wore off. I'm gonna go ahead and just use two HP ups. I'm going to save it. And then we're gonna use another repel. That's our free heal, back to full health. There's a nugget down there, but we're not gonna get it. I don't know if there's an alternate way to go here. I should probably watch more people speed run this game so I can get like some new strategies. But I don't feel compelled to do that. I feel like I do a good enough job of my own. Just like with Mewtwo when I was gonna initially try out Red Bar and stuff like that, like it's just too much. Like there's a certain point to where it becomes, I don't know, too much. And I felt like that was just too much. I am gonna save it before this Marowak even though I'm not convinced it's gonna do anything to us. Oh no. There's Mommy. There we go. I hate this. I much prefer the yellow version because you just come up here and you have to fight Jesse and James and it's just real quick and easy. There's like, for some reason in this Pokemon Tower, Mr. Fuji's up here and there's just so many Team Rocket Grunts waiting to take you out. So many of them. Do you think, do you guys think the channelers just let them pass? Like how did they get up here but I have to fight these crazed, weird channelers that don't make any sense at all but they just was able to walk past them that make any sense at all i'm mad about it i think about it a lot actually i'm sitting I'm, I'm sitting at work thinking man how did the team rocket people get past those channelers especially with like a zubat i mean jesus christ we've done the zubat run look at what these guys have like a Zub Rattata's not too bad. Eventually we'll do a Rattata run on the channel, but Rattata's not too bad. But 
Some of these guys just have multiple Zubats. Like, get a clue. Learn how to be a real trainer. Okay. Pokey Flute. My items are going to be full soon. So that's... Not that problematic, but this is about the time where we need to dump our items. Okay. Little sleepy boy. It's always weird when you don't have the sound playing because it takes so long to play that Pokey Flute. Run for it. Snorlax goes back to the mountains. Oh my god. We're going to roll with it. Extra battle I did not plan on doing, but here we are. Mankey and Machop. Wow. We just did those runs. I wonder if he's a fan of the channel. So we're sitting here at two hours. I didn't do it right. It's right here. We're sitting at two hours right now. Oh my god. Did I save it after? I'm, I'm so forgetful. It doesn't matter. We got the rare candy. I feel like I'm even more forgetful now. Last PP up. Oh my god, I have not gotten Psychic yet. Oh my god. So many mistakes. I didn't mean to fight this guy. This guy has like 38 coffins. Jesus. Extra experience is extra experience. We're gonna roll with it. At the end of the day, if we only do two extra battles, that's fine. I'm making some mistakes but the point isn't to be immaculate the point is to get this live commentary out which we are swiftly approaching an hour maybe already if i decide to edit it any probably already at an hour i'm not on the bike right now i'm well aware i'm wasting time bumping into walls okay so now we need to go to our pc item pc we need to deposit our key items HMs Helix Fossil Lift Key Little Flutie Probably need to sell some extra stuff too I don't feel like selling anything We're gonna call an audible here I need, I need Psychic I feel like not getting Psychic is a a blunder so just to kind of save some face a little bit fuck I accidentally said no anyway to save face I am going to go ahead and save it here and we are going to use our repel now something I normally don't do all the time I should do it there's a, a carbos right here for speed did I buy Carbos earlier for Mr. Mom? I'm not going to know because I'm not going to watch this video back. I feel like maybe I bought Carbos instead of Calciums. No, there's no way. I bought Calciums. There's no way to check though. I don't like using repels here, but the moment you think you don't need to use a repel, you're going to get hit by some annoying stuff. Protein, not the most helpful, but, you know, gold teeth. Go in here, grab our surf. And Paris can dig. And we're back here, which is good. Means that we can just go ahead and go into a saffron. Take a quick visit down to Mr. Socket. He knows exactly why we're here. And I'm just going to go ahead and learn it. The time is now. Don't really have a choice. We're just going to get rid of Confusion. It's just superior. We really don't have any move slots left. We got three PP ups. Go ahead and spam those bad boys down. And then we can fly back to Fuchsia. And hopefully these uh, psychic types aren't too annoying. We got two battles to do. We're making some pretty good time. 
Uh, the point where you know if a run's going to be like pretty good or not is how much trouble are we going to run into on rival number five? I don't trust this battle. I'm going to barrier. Oh man, he's juggling today. Poison gas. What a little cuck. What a little sucker. We're poisoned. Whatever. We're boosted. I only use barrier to increase my attack so that body slam actually hits kind of hard. So we can get past this without wasting too much time. That was the idea behind it. And it looks like it did pretty good. We did get poisoned, but that's why you buy those antidotes at the start of the game. Because this is the exact kind of situation where you need it. I shouldn't have saved there, but I did. Because it'd be much better to save right here, which I'm just going to save again. I mentioned earlier that I do save pretty liberally. Especially if I know that there's a chance I might faint. Ah, uh, Hypno, cool. I'm gonna use three barriers once again. He juggled, or not juggled, but he swapped two times. So we got it for free pretty much. So now if this can just knock out another poison. Good thing, this is exactly why, this is prime reason why you have to buy those antidotes, guys. Because if you get stuck in this situation and you're having a good run, uh, it's a good way to make a run a lot slower by having to walk all the way out of here and heal. Or have to try to go through Koga already poisoned. But let's see. This is, uh, we finally got Psychic. Let's see if, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big one hits. If we can one hit that Weezing, it should be good. But even if not, uh, oh my god, okay. Easy. Easy. Now we got the speed portion of the badge boost, which means those barrier setups are gonna be even stronger. So we get speed and attack now, and some defense, but that's kind of negligible. I'm gonna go ahead and heal there. I probably, I didn't need to. Just kind of have it. We're just kind of getting back into the groove. The main takeaway of today is that I am trying to get back into the swing of live commentary. And I feel like I've been talking a good bit. I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job. Uh, go ahead and scroll down and tell me how you think I've been doing. Or tell me I've sounded like a complete idiot. Or go ahead and tell me that, hey, do you think anybody in the world is gonna make it over an hour into these videos? Hopefully. Maybe there's a few of you here. But like I said, this is kind of like a stream test. I realize that this video is gonna be extremely long. Meditate. Let's stop going on tangent I'm gonna replace barrier with meditate because meditate although it gives you attack being able to use it six times is a pretty big upgrade for the badge boost I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, that protein I got earlier and I think I have two carbos yeah I shouldn't have used the carbos now but with rival number five being imminent we are gonna use it now Okay, got our rare candy in here. Trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Another elixir. So where should we set on elixirs? We're not going to beat it. Mewtwo's already beaten the game by this point, guys. And I don't know how much of this is uh, Mr. Mom. Or how much of it is the times three speed kind of throwing me off my game a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Cause I know I'm making a bunch of little boneheaded mistakes. Floor five, go down to floor three. I didn't save it. I feel naked when I don't save it. But we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully in a perfect, absolutely perfect world. Oh my God, that's not perfect. Falling asleep isn't perfect. Oh my God, how many times am I, uh. And he disabled the body slam. What a dick suck. I don't want to use psychic. Okay, hopefully I level up right here. Uh, at the end of this. Use a psychic because I've already taken enough damage. I didn't level up. Okay. Big question here. 
I feel like to make it through this very efficiently, we are 1,000 points from leveling up. I'm going to save it. We're going to fight this guy. Uh, badge boost, maybe not needed for this fight. But it very well might be. I think we'll level up. Yeah, right now. And that puts us at about 4,000 from the next level. I don't know about you guys, but that suspiciously feels like I'll level up at the end of the fight. Let's see. Let's just put it into practice. Rival number five, one of the hardest fights in the entire game. What do I want to do here? Let's just go ahead and get rid of it. Growlithe. I'm going to go ahead and meditate. Meditate's always weird to me. It's a um, psychic move that raises your attack. I'm burned. Oh my god, I'm burned. And it didn't knock him out. What the crap? And I don't have an answer. Burn neuters your attack. It's like super growl, if you guys didn't know. Oh. I'm seated. I burned. Used a potion. Oh. Oh. This just isn't going great. Okay, we knocked him out. This is actually... Oh my god. Wow. I don't have burn heals though. Oh, we'll go ahead and take this Lapras. I don't have burn heals. I could go with fight one extra trainer, waste a little bit of time, and we could do the heal on the seventh floor. It really it's really not that far out of the way, but I think if we play it right, I think we could easily make it past Giovanni number two. We have nine uses of Psychic. I need to save several for Giovanni. Oh my god, that's right. I might as well just keep using Psychic. I miss Psychic? What in the world is going on here? Oh, this is going to be close. It's going to be close, guys. I just want to save as much time as possible. I didn't heal all the way either. We're getting kind of close to the end of the game. I mean, any time hovering around three hours would be a good time overall. And I think we can get pretty close. Hang on, I'm going to take a quick break real quick. Not a break, break. Is this a Zelda mix? Lo-fi Zelda? Nintendo, if you copyright me, I'm going to be so mad, but we're going to go with it. Okay. Oh, critical hit. Perfect. I didn't mean to pause right there, but my uh, playlist ran out and a big notification came up on my screen, so I had no choice. Anyway, yeah, Giovanni number two. It's not like we interrupted anything important. Dig out. Ah, and now we're gonna go to Sabrina. I had to do a little quick pause there. I had to assess exactly what I wanted to do. I think at level, I don't know what level we are, 40 something? Shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna save it right here just in case I want to leave. Just in case I'm not strong enough. Okay, take it slow because we're on such a high speed. All right, we resist psychic moves. All I need to do is just knock this thing out, and then just to be sure, I'm gonna set up some meditates. Uh, Mr. Mom's so weak that I don't care. I'm at five right now, I think. That should be six. Alright, body slam. 
crit, so we just did less damage. Whatever, it's fine. And we leveled up, so we don't even have a speed anymore. But with six attack boost, yeah, there we go. Very easy. And I haven't even thought about Tombstone or Brother. Obviously, I edit my voice to be deeper and all that kind of stuff. So I don't even know how we're gonna handle that. That's a that's a problem I didn't anticipate. I actually messed up. No, I did not mess up. I do prefer to use strength first on the Lapras, but we don't have it and I've already flown here. I've already invested the time. So we're just gonna roll with it. We should have, we have three repels left. So we're gonna go ahead and use it and take our nice little brisk, calming, serene, perfect little walk down to Cinnabar. And I am going to go ahead and Pokemart. We can go ahead and sell these repels. And I can go ahead and get rid of some of these little extra TMs. And what I'm going to do is just buy like seven of those. And then I'll say six max repels should be more than enough. And that's fine. And we can go ahead and set up our inventory. We need the max repels up here more than anything. And then we'll go ahead and throw the hyper potions up there. That looks good. Get out of my way. I feel so fumbly. Like, I feel like I'm not on my game right now. To be honest, I'm kind of ner not nervous. That's kind of weird. I'm just sitting here talking to myself. But just to go through commentary for so long, something you haven't done in a while. Uh, I don't know. There's something about it. Cause normally like I could mess up. I could say the world's dumbest sentence and sound like a complete buffoon. And then I could just edit it out if I was doing the other format. But in this situation, if I stutter and mess up a word, there's gonna be somebody out there that's like, ha ha, you're stupid. You're an idiot. How do you live with yourself now that you made a mistake in a video? Okay. Almost perfect timing of the rare candy no encounters dig out we're back here that's fine okay I'm gonna drop a save because I might mess up on these little timing I don't uh, eh, mr. mom's looking pretty good so far yes even though it's not true Caterpie technically evolves into Butterfree but he evolves into Metapod game there are nine, yeah, so no. I should really have these memorized a little more than I do. Polywag evolves three times, uh, no. This one's about ground types. So this one is a yes. All right, guys, this is everybody's favorite question. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a live. Tombstoner, brother. All right, there we go. There's your Tombstoner for the week. I almost answered it yes on accident. Now we got Blaney Boy. I think if we have to... I don't know. I want to get... This music's going to get me copyrighted, isn't it? I need to stop this music now. I do love Zelda though, so. Oh, I'm getting into it. We'll keep it for now. Hopefully we're not getting copyright striked. If we can, I'll just edit it out. Hopefully I can just talk long enough and it doesn't pick it up. Oh man, we're still hanging on. Oh man, Blaine and his bad AI. We hung on there. We survived the fire blast and we're moving on. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're at the last gym already. Pretty good. I need to heal. Now this is probably going to be, now that we can beat Blaine, we got the special badge boost. 
and that means that meditate is now significant oh my god i did that on the first try on times three speed what is going on god gamer reflexes unmatched i struggle to do that on times one speed sometimes but yeah we have the special boost now so meditate's just that much stronger which also means that uh manipulating our experience is going to be pretty it's going to be important especially looking at rival number six uh, maybe it is maybe it won't be i really don't want to use all my psychics right now whatever when in rome i'm being too conservative I'm, I'm always too conservative you know the old trope so he comes down and blocks your way what i do is grab that revive walk out walk back in reset him because walk, moving on those conveyors is so slow. We're almost at three hours. It's not the best run. It's not bad though. If we breeze through the Elite Four, it's actually... It could be a pretty solid run. I'll have to see. We're just spamming Psychic here. Uh, top level gamer strategies right here, guys. Just Psychic. I'm just using Psychic about six times. Yeah, I'm a grand strategist. Eighth gym down. Get to this dialogue. I do need to look real quick to see when I'm going to level up. 1659. This Song of Storms? Oh my god, what a good song. I probably need to heal. I probably should. I want to save time though. We're 1,600 points away from leveling up, so I don't know how much the PGI will give you, but I guess after the Rhydon, or Rhyhorn, we should level up, so let's just, let's just get him out of here. We didn't get him out of here. Oh, leveled up now. Substitute. See guys, I, Substitute is interesting, but I just cannot fit it into this moveset. So we're going to have to take some Fury attacks here. And we're just going to set up fully. And that should be six right there. And now we're just going to let it loose. We should be able to easily cruise past this fight. We have five psychics left. We don't even need that many. We'll go for body slam. Oh, it feels good. Oh, body slam on the Alakazam. One shot. Oh, it feels good. Blastoise. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Thunderball. Oh, it feels good. So Mr. Mom's actually quietly kind of picking up some steam here. This is a very important save for me personally. We're at three hours even, but I can never... Okay, we did it. Oh my god, I'm playing well today. I'm playing bad and well at the same time. I'm doing like little tiny mechanical things very well, but I'm also just making stupid mistakes like walking to a dead end right here for no reason. Oh my god, okay. What's happening? Oh no. I just realized I made a big mistake. It's not too late. Guys, I made a huge mistake. I gotta get out of here. Uh, we almost made the biggest mistake of all. I forgot to give the warden the teeth. Oh no. Run ruined. Abort the run. But we do get a little extra rare candy out of it. To try to make up for that, uh, I'll probably just skip the rare candy and victory road. That'll be roughly about the same. Uh, I wish I just had permanent repel on. There should be a certain level where Pokemon don't even attack you anymore. Uh, okay, we did it again the first time. Uh, I'm bumping into walls. This is not peak gameplay. I don't get, I hate, well, I don't hate it, but it's very annoying that you have to talk to all these people like, oh, you got the volcano badge, go on through. Like, yeah, why would you be this far? Like somebody's gonna come in here with seven badges and get to this last guy and then be like, oh, nope. 
All right, quick save here, little savey poo. Max repel, not surf, strength. And let's just not mess up the boulders. Be real steady with our inputs and we should make it through here. So as far as the Elite Four goes, Mr. Mime's kind of like a Mewtwo light in a lot of ways. I don't expect there to be any kind of crazy troubles. I think it might be decently easy. I don't expect any hassle, especially if we smartly manipulate our experience. Gengar, turn one. Maybe. That might be an issue on Agatha. Uh, maybe something like uh, Gyarados, Lance's Gyarados, turn one, Hyper Beam crit. Because we don't have to worry about Alakazam because Psychic is resisted. It would still probably hurt, but it's not like it is in some of the runs that we do. So, it shouldn't be too bad. Other than that, I don't, we'll see what time we're at after this. I think this is going to be about like a Lapras run. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I saved it. I struggle on this more than just about anything I do in these runs. Uh, well, at least the encounter stopped us from overrunning it. Yeah, walking up too far and fighting her. is a good trainer to fight if you need experience because she has a Chansey. And Chanseys give a metric ton of experience. So, it's pretty good. I never got why you fall down. You're not on your bike anymore. You have to reuse strength. This is annoying. This is the most annoying part of Victory Road. But it is at the end of it. So, there we go. And we are at, what are we at? An hour and 22 minutes, so. It's been a wild ride, guys. About as wild as the person who set up these statues. It makes no sense. Okay, we are on our final little trek. What we're gonna do. Deposit all of our other Pokemon. We're going to heal. We're going to buy the full restore just because we can. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and use uh, probably all but three of our rare candies. That's the, that's the standard. 53, 54. Level 55 is where we're starting today's little journey. Let's just dive straight into Lorelei. We got Thunderbolt. We can make it past these first two Pokemon. Okay. Not a one shot, but no rest. Or no. Well, what could it really do anyway? Just to be safe. I don't care about the growls. I don't care about the withdrawals. I don't care about the water gun. Do what you gotta do, bro. That's six meditates, and that should make... Yeah, we're hitting hard now. I think we got growled a couple of times, so I am just going to go Thunderbolt on Jinx. It's not a one-shot, but triggers a potion. That's fine. Oh, okay. Leveled up. Perfect. I'm feeling cocky. Since we're doing this live, no healing on Bruno this week. No healing on Bruno. And just to make it extra safe. Rage. Okay. I was just seeing what he was going to do, guys. I wasn't nervous at all. Bruno doesn't scare me. Oh, no. All your Pokemon are dying really quick. Bruno's just pathetic, guys. Oh, my God. He's useless. Oh god, stay bad, Bruno. We'll probably get to a Zapdos run soon. There is one guy who watches the channel, uh, Not Gaming, always brings up Zapdos as being bad. I think I'm good. 11 uses of Psychic. Here we go, this is one that might be bad 
but the first two are pretty good and I don't have a problem with those so if we were doing like a live video oh we outspeed not a one shot and he misses the hypnosis not bad Ugh. he got rid of our badge boost I have no choice Okay, so if you didn't know, Haze gets rid of your badge boost that you're supposed to have. So me using two meditates gets us the badge boost back and boosts us one time. So that does make it now enough for that. I'm going to use one more. Make it two more. Just to make sure, the main goal here is to make sure that this psychic is a one shot. Wow. Kind of cruising here, guys. Gyarados Hyper Beam Crit. Uh, always potential. Uh, gonna use an elixir. I didn't even use a rare candy there. Jesus Christ. Rare candy. Rare candy. Two rare candies. We got one left to reset our experience. Hyper potion just because. And let's just dive straight into it. Gyarados hyper beam crit. No, no. We don't want that. We outspeed. It doesn't matter. Get out of here. Uh, we could take some damage here. It'd be kind of scary if we took a hyper beam Actually not scary at all. That didn't really hurt two hyper beams though. I Don't want to risk it I'm a uh, eh. Stop hyper beaming me Jesus Christ we took three hyper beams Kind of impressive though you gotta admit Kind of looking impressive there Aerodactyl, weak to Thunderbolt. Get him out of there. Now this is scary. Thunderbolt is neutral. Oh! Oh, thank, thank the heavens, young man. Very close call. Okay. Mr. Mom has bad HP. I just noticed. Use our elixir just because. What are we going to do? Save him for the next run. Uh, champion fight. Is this a one shot? Victory. I kind of want to set up. I don't want to take the sky attack. So we are going to throw. What do you got for me, buddy? How much... How much? No, that's not. Oh, our special fail though. Set up reflect. It's not really, still not hurting too much. Why do I only have? I've lost count of how many meditates I can do. Okay, I use one too many. Please don't be what costs us to run. Oh my god, we're taking a lot of damage. We're not playing this correctly. Oh my god, we're gonna have to redo it. I thought this was gonna be very smooth and easy. We still got Executor coming up. And that's not gonna be too fun. Ember. I'm burned. Oh my god, this is a reset. Oh goodness, golly me, this is a reset, isn't it? We're gonna die to Barrage. Uh no. Uh. Oh man. Well. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, guys. And this is where commentary is probably not gonna be that great. This is like the big like if we had some chat going and we we're actually live. This is where it would be a little bit better. But, I mean, we're going back through it. We've seen how this fight plays out already. Just for... Just for safety's sake, I am just going to set up these Meditates. That burn, though. I feel like I've gotten burned more in this run than I have in quite a while. 
I think on the Pikachu run, I didn't show it, but like I got burned a lot on Blaine. That's Blaine. He has, what, four different fire types that can burn you. But when we're talking about one, the one singular fire type in the entire Elite Four that only gets off one single attack, and he burns you, that's just bad luck, bro. I don't care how you slice it. And keep in fact that keep in mind that burn also neuters your attack damage, your physical damage, and that's the only thing that we have to use against Executor. And then all of a sudden it's just it's a no go. I think that's it. Now it's just it's, it's Bruno. There's no amount of commentary here that could be worth it. Did I level up to 56 here last time? I thought I leveled up to... No, I leveled up at 56 at the end of... Uh, What's her face? Lorla. Now watch me... Not beat this one. Got plenty of psychics left. We're at an hour 30. I was hoping to already be done, but... Jesus Christ. I'm gonna call... The, he's, he's gonna take two psychics anyway. Yeah, he just wasted his turn. One meditate would just make it a one shot. Good. Psychic's the stronger move, so might as well go for it. Yeah, I think we can just sweep. Call the Gengar's bluff on turn one, on the first Gengar. One meditate with a special attack boost is enough to one shot everything. Now, unless some shenanigans happen here. Okay, good. Not bad, very easy fight with Psychic, as you come to expect. Now I took a pretty big risk last time we fought Lance, trying to set up all those times. Uh, really didn't work out in my favor. Two rare candies, just like last time. And we outspeed the Gyarados. So that means that we can easily get rid of this. No worries at all. Now, last time he went straight hyper beams every turn. Dragon Rage, arguably worse. So we're going to call it quits on that. I think now we have enough damage to one shot both of them. And we've seen that even at maximum meditates, we didn't have enough to one shot the Dragonite. Jesus Christ. Okay. Ugh. Oh, guys. In my head, it went a lot smoother than this. And you might be wondering, I never show this in the early, early videos we show it. Yes, in fact, I do run with the same rule set as uh, J-Rose, and we reset after every Elite Four death. It's not always the funnest thing, but it does make you have to play well for five straight battles. And I do think that's worth something. I think it's really what separates certain Pokemon from other Pokemon. Except for Ditto. We saved between members on Ditto. Because Lorelei was like a 1 in 300 chance or something worse than that to beat. And after failing a hundred times I feel like I deserve to save after that and no one's gonna change my mind but in terms like this nice little casual run let's just get through it oh Bruno please you should just say hey just go ahead and pass oh it's you again go ahead and pass we know bro we know how it's gonna go I don't think we're gonna do three meditates and stop do we even need six meditates on Bruno? I was doing it to be safe, and now after we failed a couple of times in the Elite Four, I'm just kind of like, I'm over it. So how quick can we get through it now? I don't even know. I'm just critting. It's like the, it doesn't even matter. Maybe just two next time, if we have it next time. Okay, heal. And this is going to be the time, I can already tell. This is going to be the time that I'm not gonna. I'm calling call the bluff of the first Gengar, and it's gonna put me to sleep. Oh my god! How did I know? How?
How did I know? Please don't. Dream Eater. I'm awake. It doesn't matter. I knew it. I called my own death. I called my own death. Reset. Okay. Okay. I've never thought about this part of the game in a live setting. These rules don't really set too well with a live rule set, does it? Kind of boring. If you're bored, I'm sorry. I've never thought about that either. Like, what if, what if somebody? Because in my other runs, like I cut it down. Like a Mr. Mime video would be like 25, 30 minutes. I've never thought about if someone thought these long videos like this would be boring. So, if you're watching right now and you're just thinking, oh God, why am I watching this? I'm getting hurt in this fight. I'm paralyzed. When did I get paralyzed? Blizzard. Oh my god, we're dying to lure lie now. Jesus. It's not improving. We're getting worse. The first time we died on the champion fight, the second time we died on Lance, the third time we died on Agatha, and then the fourth time we died on Lorelai. We're just regressing. When did I get paralyzed last time? I'm never gonna be able to look because I body slam from the Jinx, maybe? Okay, so I'm gonna set up fully here. Uh, I tried to make it go faster by not setting up all the way, so. Do yourself a favor and just set up all the way. No point in trying to be a hero. Triggered a potion, that's good. So this should just be an easy one shot. So we're gonna try Bruno this next, ooh, okay. Wait, what? How am I missing? That's a Gen 1 miss. 1 in 256 chance. Jesus. Game is... I'm at my wit's end. I've never... I haven't talked this much in three years, so... At this point... Let's just go through. Let's... Like I was trying to say, let's try Bruno with two Meditates only. One. A Tahu. Okay, still a one shot. If everything's still a one shot, we'll know. It's useless information, but might as well know that for the next time if we have to go back through, we can save us a turn or two. Or actually four turns. Yeah. Does Bruno even need to meditate? Could I just could I just go through and just blast him? Questions maybe we won't have to find the answers to. One psychic is not gonna kill you anyway. There we go. Oh my god, okay. He got the uh, retroactive super potion. Whatever. We leveled up and we lost our badge boost. Did we always level up here? I'm losing track of time. Space and time. We're gonna set up. Paralyze, you little dickhole. We're paralyzed, but one should do it. Yes. Thank God we bought the full restores. Okay, so my main problem in this fight is that I'm taking heavy damage on the Dragonairs. And it's not translating very well at the end of the fight when I make it to Dragon Knight. Go ahead and use an elixir. I don't know when I can set up. I feel like it's too risky on this Gyarados. One. I don't like taking Dragon Rages either. Two of them though, god damn. Okay, two psychics. We're gonna try or one psychic off after two meditates. I think this is the magical number. Hyperbeam crit would still kill us though. Two psychics should still kill it. Jesus Christ. God help me. God help me. I've never wanted to go get a drink more in my entire life. If you're watching this right now, would you be 
upset if I went and got a drink. I'm gonna assume you'd be really mad. So I, I'm gonna continue on and be thirsty. I feel like I'm gonna lose my voice. I haven't talked this much in quite a while. Critical hit, wow. Oh my god. It should still be winnable. It shouldn't be that much of an issue. Maybe one meditate on the Dragonair. Maybe that's the magical number. I'm thinking ahead. Like I'm thinking a lot ahead, guys. I'm thinking about those fights. But I don't really have a problem with the other fights. I am wondering how that Gengar survived to meditate into a psychic, but that is what it is. I could lose this fight just because at this point I got a little low. I'm not healing. I refuse. One meditate. Okay, we're gonna see if this gets to the fight. Just we'll singular meditate. So far, so good. Uh, just Bruno. Pokemon, 100%. Oh, now there's 0%. He's dying. But champ, a little tanky. Ah, yeah, we just need one. Save ourselves uh, five turns now. Okay, little hyper potion. Not gonna use anything else. So right here. I think there's just too good of a chance for this Gengar to not put you to sleep turn one. Yeah, so. It didn't knock it out though, but it felt its move. So I think we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good. I'm not gonna set, I think last time I tried to set up one more meditate on this Arbok, but I don't know if that would be a one shot steal. And we know that this Gengar has a very high chance of just missing its move. So, we're just going to go ahead and just get it out of there. So that fight's not bad. Those first three fights, super consistent. We didn't even take damage that time. I still think it's smart to use our rare candies here. Elixir. Gyarados is very consistent. It's really the, the Dragon Rage is probably doing more than the Hyper Beam. Especially when you consider it takes two turns. No, it didn't. He's got a recharge. But we're at 100 health. And if we can one shot everything, 100 health should be a pretty decent buffer on the Dragonite. Because you gotta think, there's a chance it might just go for barrier. Okay, we survived. Yes. Now we can finally get our second crack at the champion fight. That's pretty good. A little elixir, and we got one more uh, rare candy. Okay. Last time I lost track of Meditate, and I got burned on the Arcanine, and then I got stomped down in a very humiliating fashion against the Executor. I think we've test we've ah nah. I'm just gonna go for it. That has to be six. Yeah. Let's get it out of there. We fully set up. Last time I pulled the trigger early because it charged up a sky attack and I didn't want to get hit. But now that means no growls, no reflex, no anything like that on us, so we're good. Alakazam, gone. I would love for this to be a one shot. Okay. Okay. Barrage? <laughs> Perfect. No one cares about Barrage. Barrage is so weak and pathetic. You're pathetic, Executor. Thunderbolt? Is this it? Is this the game? It's the game, guys. It's the game. We've done it. An hour and 45 minutes of real life time. Uh, let's just mash through this. Uh, pretty solid run. Kind of what you'd expect from a psychic type. Thunderbolt for coverage. Meditate's really strong in this case. Because there are times we need the body slam. But level 63. 326. 
it's a little bit slower than Lapras. And I do think I, I wasted some time myself. Like, I could sure up this run. I could optimize it, and it could be better. And if I have some time, I might replay the run and just you know, let you guys know maybe how much faster it could be. Probably not too much faster, though. But 3 hours and 26 uh, is pretty respectable. I'm actually going to real quick... Uh, bear with me for a second here, guys. I'm struggling to remember some of my runs. Actually. I want to see what... Was Mewtwo the last how fast run I did? I gotta check my runs real quick. Bingus. How could I forget? The video that's done the best for me in a long time. Okay, so we're looking for Mew tier list. I got it saved here somewhere. I'm not going to pull it up on the screen. Maybe I will. I didn't make a tier. Usually I have these edited in uh, in post. So I'm not going to have it in. Can I get this on, on the screen real quick? Let's see. Can I add stuff live? Hang on. We're doing some live... Some live shenanigans here now. I'm going through my computer. We're going to talk about this run real quick. Where are you at, buddy? Mew 2 tier list. Mew list. There we go. Let me set this up. Make sure it's... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Almost got it. Okay, how's this looking? This is the Mew tier list. So, we are sitting at, what, 326? It means it's faster than Snorlax. Uh, right behind Lapras. So, it's like the number 10. It was a decent run. Level 63. Whatever, it's about what you'd expect. Overall, I do think it was pretty good. But more importantly, I think that we've been recording this live commentary for uh, an hour and 47 minutes. And I need to decide what I'm going to do with all this footage. If I'm just going to release it uncut or if I'm actually going to do some editing to it. Uh, so let's go back to the live. Look for Pokemon in grassy areas. And let's get rid of this image. Not doing anything for anybody ah so that was my first live run like I said overall this run encompasses a couple of things for me to kind of just get comfortable in front of the camera I guess like talking again doing a long format it gives you guys an inside look at how the an entire run would go um, and just to kind of be more off the cuff, uh, realistic with you guys when it comes to pretty much everything. A test, maybe one day we'll stream, and this was kind of a test to see if I could do it, if I could get through it. And I think it's been pretty successful. Mr. Mime was a pretty good run overall. I mean, we knew Mr. Mime probably wasn't going to be the best Pokemon, but being number 10 so far, it's not too bad. Hey, perfectly, I think the other playlist has just ended as well. So, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. Maybe at this point some end cards will come up and all that kind of stuff. I think I'm just going to put this straight up onto YouTube. And if anybody has made it an hour and 49 minutes into this video right now, I would really appreciate if you guys would give me some feedback on this. More than anything, this video is very important. Uh, I would like to maybe consider doing some streaming and all that kind of stuff. But just feedback is always very important to me. And some other, what is this? Epic, epic Pokemon Remix? No thank you. We're going to stop that. But I do think I've been going on for too long, guys. It's almost two hours. One of my longest videos I've ever done. We're going to have to end it here. Uh, hopefully you guys had a good time today. And this is Mr. Mom. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.